Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're so glad to have you as a listener. Today's topic is hope as an anchor. We'll return after a brief message from our sponsor. You may only be familiar with the Salvation Army by the bells we ring at Christmas. But did you know we also produce a network of Christian shows you can listen to on your favorite podcast store or even local Christian radio station? One of our shows, Words of Life, is a weekly 15-minute show featuring powerful interviews and testimonies. So, I sometimes call him my, yeah, my angel because I just feel like the Lord put him in my life in the perfect time. When I think Engaging about- conversations about topics impacting the church that's today. About it. And that really gets back to this fundamental question within Christian ethics. What does it mean to be made in the image of God? And I think that's one of the most important questions we can And deep dives into Scripture. This divine appropriation of the Holy Spirit that God now dwells in the believer. That not only do Listen to Words of Life on your favorite podcast store or visit SalvationArmyRadio.org to learn about more shows produced by the Salvation Army. Life can be unpredictable. Wouldn't it be nice to get paid instantly whenever you need it, even on the same day you work? When you join the Amazon team, you can use the Anytime Pay feature to cash out and receive up to 70% of your earned pay. Anytime, 24-7. To find out more about how to choose your own payday, go to amazon.com slash anytime pay. Amazon is an equal opportunity employer. Hope as an Anchor by Emma Danzi. Hebrews 6, 19 through 20 says, This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, a hope both sure and reliable, and one which enters within the veil, where Jesus has entered as a forerunner for us, having become a high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The book of Hebrews is filled with beautiful verses proclaiming that Jesus is our great high priest. He took on the cross for us, and he broke the barricade between us and God the Father. Sin that stood in between was defeated, and Jesus became the bridge between us and the Lord. As we break down these verses today, pray that Christ would reveal himself more and more in your heart. This hope as an anchor of the soul, both sure and reliable. Have you ever used an anchor? A seemingly small device can be cast down into the water and stabilize a boat through the wind and waves. The larger the boat, the larger the anchor. Our soul has the effects of sin and the world. However, when we have been gifted with the Holy Spirit, He can anchor us through being pulled in many different directions other than God's best. Ephesians 4 verse 14 gives us insight into a way that we are spiritually impacted by the wind and waves. It says, Then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming. We have hope that is both sure and reliable. Jesus' sacrifice and following him is the only true way to be steady in this life and sure of the one to come. He has fulfilled the law where we could not. He has come in and convicted us, but not condemned those who say yes to him. And he has been the one who, who had a once and for all sacrifice sufficient for all sins. One which enters within the veil, where Jesus has entered as a forerunner for us. Back before the time of Jesus, a high priest would enter the Holy of Holies within the temple where God's presence was once a year on Yom Kippur to provide a blood sacrifice and incense to the Lord on behalf of the people's sins. There was a great veil separating the Holy of Holies. They would actually 
tie a rope to the priest's ankle in case he died in the presence of God so they could pull him out. We are so sinful and small, and the Lord Almighty is so glorious and perfect that being in his presence is just too much. This is why even Moses, who was very faithful to the Lord, was instructed when getting the Ten Commandments not to look at God's face or he would die. This emphasizes why we needed a Savior. One man, once a year, who was a selected high priest, was able to go into God's presence for one day to give an offering for sin. Jesus is called the forerunner for us because he offered himself as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God on behalf of all of our sins. There was no more need for the temple and the holy of holies or an earthly priest because the high priest of heaven had taken care of the problem of sin forever. Matthew twenty-seven fifty-one shares, And behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook and the rocks were split. If Jesus' death and resurrection was not a miracle enough, the extremely thick and heavy temple veil was torn from top to bottom right after Jesus' death. God could not have been more clear that we are now welcome in his presence. In fact, once Jesus ascended, he sent his presence in the Holy Spirit to us who believe. This is a true miracle. Having become a high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek, Jesus was not a temporary priest. He is the high priest forever. He is the one who forever has reconciled us as sinners to our Holy Father. This verse is extra impactful to the Jewish people because Melchizedek was the high priest in Genesis whose name literally meant king of righteousness. He was the king of Salem, and he blessed Abraham. This is a beautiful tie to God fulfilling the old covenant and bringing the new covenant through Jesus. We can celebrate our high priest forever. Intersecting Faith and Life How has sin stood in the way of your relationship with God? How has Jesus been an anchor of hope for your soul? How can you thank Jesus for being your personal high priest today? Further reading, Exodus 33, verse 20, Matthew 27, 51, Ephesians 4, verse 14. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hi, I'm Bonnie Curry, one of the narrators on the Abide app, a premium ad-free biblical meditation experience. Join the millions of people who download the Abide app to reduce stress, improve sleep, and experience the peace of God every day. You can text the word PEACE to 22433 for a seven-day free trial of Abide. Just text PEACE to 22433, and you'll likely hear from me again on the app as I guide you through daily meditations or help you fall asleep and experience the peace of God. Oh, I hate turkey hunting. I'm freezing. Me too. It feels like 25 below. 25? Did you know you can get up to 25% off grocery store prices at BJ's Wholesale Club? Up to 25% off? BJ sounds perfect for Thanksgiving shopping. They have really good turkey prices too. Then what are we freezing our bleeps off out here for? Let's go to BJ's. Get a Butterball Whole Turkey for just 99 cents a pound. In club or BJ's.com. BJ's. Absurdly simple savings.